Hello, Namaskar, Vanakkam. This is the video in which we are going to do the SWS answer key for the ICSC class 10 geography paper. Jinone bhi mere teen videos, the strategy video, the PYQ video, or the competency focused test paper jo banaya tha. In each one of them, especially the last two, I had repeatedly said that reasoning questions per dhyan dena yehi competency focused questions aenge. Or wahi hua hai, subjective mein three questions, reason based questions have come in all the sections before i get into it i want to give you a quick piece of advice let me tell you this your physics paper and your biology paper bilkul hi aise hi pattern pe hoga agar aap thoroughly padkar nahi jayenge you will struggle in the paper this paper with so many one mark questions is extremely thorough it is really testing ki aapne puri Pure syllabus ko theek se pada hai ya nahi. Okay. So both biology and physics are also likely to be like this. So prepare accordingly. Okay. That's something which I want to tell you. Sirf PYQs karne se fayda nahi hoga. Let's get to the uh, answer key for the geography paper. Uh, yeah. Rameshwar sir has given me the topography answers and then I'll, I've done the MCQs which I'll tell you separately. The first one, give the six-figure grid reference for spot height 0.437 in the southern southeastern part of the map extract. It is 673295. I repeat, 673295. Okay. The second one, B, Aman, a local craftsman, wants to sell his product to a large gathering to earn money instantly. Which settlement should he go to? The correct answer will be Malgao. Name the month in which he should visit the settlement named by you above the month of March. Uh, and I mean, basically, if you want to add by giving the reason, because the annual fair uh, is held in this settlement. On which bank of the Sukli Nadi is the settlement of Pamera situated? Uh, on the right bank. Identify the settlement pattern seen in the grid square 6732. It is scattered. Okay. Now, let's come to third question. Roshan, while traveling from Sirori to Tokra, observed that the surface water sources are dry except for the reservoir near Tokra. What, according to you, may be the reason for the presence of water? Okay. The water source is reservoir which is designed to hold water even during dry periods. Okay. You could give another reason. That another reason is to ensure water supply for the dam. Either of the two reasons you could give. Uh, the first reason, obviously, better. State whether this reservoir is artificial or natural source. Obviously, artificial. Now, let's move to the fourth question. What is the direct distance between Gulab Ganj to Pitapura? Delhi me Pitapura na wohi Pitapura Pitapura hai. Give your answer in kilometer. In kilometer, it will come to 2.250 kilometer plus minus 200 will be accepted. So don't worry. It could vary 200 meters either this side or that side but 2.25 kilometer should be fine okay the compass direction of pitapura from gulab ganj will be northeast name two man made features seen in the grid square 6534 settlement roads or well any two you could mention define contour interval contour interval is the vertical difference in elevation between two consecutive contours okay now, even in the map marking, didn't I tell you that at least two, if not three, at least two will be on the not naming the thing directly. So, if you see the second part, shade and name the coastal plain that occupies a large part of Kerala and uh, the uh, fifth one, mark with arrows and name the wind that brings rainfall. So, two have come in which they have not named uh, this specific place or wind in this case. Now, MCQs. Okay. I am told there is a lot of confusion. The first one, the correct answer would be B. A is not 100% accurate. So, the correct option for the climate MCQ about Mumbai getting more rainfall than Pune and it getting rain from the Arabian Sea branch of the southwest monsoon, the correct option will be B. R is not the correct explanation for A. Okay. It's not it's not the specific pointed targeted reason for A. The second one, the second one, the correct answer is red soil and laterite soil. Okay. 
the type of natural vegetation uh, the type of natural vegetation uh, shown in the picture is tropical evergreen third class c okay fourth which of the following prevents wastage of water sprinkler pretty easy mcqs are not very complicated fifth one petroleum option d sixth one option c which is retting which is used in the case of jute which industry among the following has revolutionized the lifestyle of the indian masses in recent years recent years being the keyword so therefore electronic will be the right one iron and steel did revolutionize but yaha par the keyword that is coming is recent years and electronics has really been an integral part of our life for the last what 40 years definitely 45 years uh, in the first 25 years since independence we could have said iron and steel but in the last 40 odd years it's definitely electronic and the recent years being the keyword which of the following household products is associated with the petrochemical industry plastic mug eighth car d raman a dairy farmer in ludhiana supplies milk within the city so therefore it has to be door to door delivery so therefore it will be roadways he would be either driving a bike riding a bike or an auto rickshaw or a tempo whatever the collection of discarded materials and converting them into useful products is recycling pretty simple mcqs i thought were fairly okay uh, now if you see the various things you know reasoning questions what i was going on telling you lots of reasoning questions we are not getting into it because there are a lot and not everyone would have done all the sections all the five i mean more than five sections so i'm not getting into that but as i said and this is a lesson what i say always focus on all the strategy tips that we give here on sws because they are told to you with a with some information that we get and also with a lot of perspective so that's as far as the answer key for geography is concerned i hope all of you have done well uh, not a very complicated paper but a very thorough paper and i repeat once again physics and your biology paper will be like this to tayari jam ke karna holi hai thoda khelo but don't make it like you know the next three days you are only celebrating choti holi buddy holi and then you realize on saturday morning here a physics ka paper hai one more thing i want to tell you the physics paper is usually the toughest paper for icsc class 10 every year and i've seen this for the last many years every year physics paper is the one which takes the marks down for many students so don't let that happen to you work hard focus on the numericals focus on the reasoning questions focus on application based questions because complicated aayenge and that could kind of you know make you think a little more than necessary okay tata bye bye thank you very much